Hey guys, I'm back again with a new video. So in this video, we will see how you can install Ubuntu on AWS EC2. So first of all, uh, you have to go to the AWS console and after going to the AWS console, you will get this screen like this. So in a search, you have to type EC2 go to instances as you can see here there is no instances created yet. so just click on the launch instances now on this screen you have to fill up some more information before we create the instance uh, so here you have to type the um, instance name but now we are keeping it as a uh, ubuntu server just scroll down in application and os images uh, so here is a one tab uh, called as a quick start. So here we can choose uh, which image do you want to use for now. We are going to install the Ubuntu. So you have to select the Ubuntu now scroll down in a AMI here. There is a lots of uh, different versions are available like a 22.04 20.04 and then 18.04. You can choose as per your requirement. If you see there is a free tire eligible image, so we will be going for 22.04 and that is the latest one. Now scroll down in an instance type section. It's as per requirement you can choose if you want to use a t2 dot extra large or t3 dot large uh, you can choose but uh, remember that there will be a costing if you choose another instances we are going with the free tire eligible that is a t2 dot micro so there will be a no cost for now in a key pair section we can we can go with the proceed without a key pair, but it is not recommended because if you share your uh, server's IP address with someone else, they can access your server without any key and that is not good obviously. So you should always create a new key pair if you're creating a new instance or you can choose an existing one. If you have already created any other uh, key, you can use that. But for now, as you can see, there is no other key pair is created. Then we should go for the create a new key pair. Now here we have to type the key pair name. We are typing it as uh, Ubuntu key. OK, now here uh, there is a two types of a key uh, file format. That is a dot PM and dot PPK. So if you are doing login on the server, uh, via um, Mac OS or from the Linux machine, then you can go for the dot pm. If you are uh, doing login from uh, Windows machine via the putty, then you can simply just click on this dot ppk and then create a key pair. Now, as you can see, the key pair is downloaded. Okay, now you have to keep this key pair in a secure place. Don't share it with anyone and don't lose it. Okay, if you don't, if you lose it, uh, you will be not able to login into a server you will be able to but for that you have to uh, perform some additional steps and th that is a lengthy process that that you have to follow to um, to get the access to the uh, existing server again okay so keep this key in a private uh, place and uh, the next part is uh, network setting uh, you can you can edit it if you wanted to um, choose another VPC, but for now we are going with the default one in a subnet section. You can choose the subnet and then auto assign a public IP. You just keep it as a enable so it will auto assign the public IP address after starting the machine. Then in a create security group, if you're having existing security groups, then you can choose from this list. But right now we are going with the fresh security group. We'll create a new one. Pantu SG you can copy paste in the description as well. Now scroll down in SSS section. Uh, it should be it should be uh, my IP because if you choose anywhere, if somebody if somebody knows the IP address of your server, then they can access it. But they require a, a key, but they can access. I'm choosing it as I my IP because it will be secure. Your machine only allow uh, to access that server. Okay, just scroll down in a configure storage. And just keep it like this if you wanted to increase that you can increase it 
and uh, here you can, if you see there is a number of instances you can you can create uh, any numbers uh, like four to five you if you wanted to create uh, four to five instances at the same time then you can mention like four or five it's up to you so uh, what will happen if you see if you write five here then it will automatically create create five instance at the same time so for now we wanted to create only one so we'll go go with the one here you will get the uh, basic information or the overview that we uh, did whatever the configuration that we made in this page it will be shown here in a small section on here and then just click on the launch instance okay so our instance is created click on view all instances refresh the page while creating it will be in a pending state so we have to wait for a few minutes to complete this procedure now as you can see it's in a running state just click on the check mark now we got the public ipv4 address right just copy it go to putty to just go to putty in the download section putty open your putty run if you don't know like how to download the putty then uh, please check out the description over there i give already given the link like how to download the putty and how you can access this server okay now in a host section host name you have to just paste the ip address port 22 port okay now go to connection ssh connection data here you have to type the ubuntu uh, as a username okay so every every time whenever you click on uh, uh whenever you try to log in from the putty it will be by default it will take this username in the auth section go to credentials click on the browse choose the um the key that we downloaded a few minutes back open just scroll up go to session again here we can save our uh, um, servers ip and everything so, ubuntu server just click on save okay now open it now click on accept okay now as you can see we have successfully installed the ubuntu in our okay now as you can see we have successfully installed ubuntu 22.04 version on aws ec2 and uh, that's it guys so hope you guys like this video don't forget to share and subscribe and i will see you in the next video